10 people have been confirmed dead uh, in an accident uh, involving three taxis on the M3 in Pochapstin. Uh, currently, the MEC for transport, MEC Nicholas Kaunda, is uh, on his way to the scene of the accident. Uh, at this stage, it is um, not clear as to what exactly was the possible uh, cause of the accident, but we believe that um, one of the drivers uh, lost control, and uh, which resulted to, to the two taxis uh, colliding. Uh, we are still uh, going to get more details and uh, also be able to share with the viewers. But what is more painful is the fact that uh, the MEC was just returning from Creighton where he has met with the, the families of the 15 uh, victims who died uh, in a past crash into Jambili. So this is unbelievable and shocking that uh, in a space of uh, uh, just two days, you will have uh, such major fatal accidents in the province. Any idea of uh, the people that died in this uh, crash? Uh, were there women and children uh, that lost their lives? Well, at this stage, Peter, the, our team uh, from Road Traffic Inspectorate, uh, the SAPS team, and also uh, the, the paramedics are still working on the scene. Uh, we'll be able to verify all those details once all the proper uh, identification on the scene has been done, and currently they are busy removing the bodies. So we will be able to get all the proper details once um, all the work has been done and concluded in the scene. About what time did the accident happen and what's the situation on that road at this stage? Is it closed to, to traffic? What, what should pedest um, uh, uh, traffic uh, people that are driving uh, be aware of? Well, the, the road is currently uh, closed. Uh, there are, however, uh, traffic uh, police who are directing, uh, who are diverting traffic to an alternative route. Uh, we urge motorists to avoid using the uh, N2 South at the moment until uh, all the, 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 the bodies and uh, also the wreckage are cleared on the scene. Uh, the incident, when we received the report, we are on our way from Cray Town, as I've said, that uh, the MEC was meeting with the victims of the Junior Billy Pass crash. But uh, the report did not at the time. Uh, indicate as to what was the extent of the uh, or the impact of the the, mm -hmm. the collision. It only revealed that uh, there was a collision involved in Texas. Only when paramedics arrived and our traffic officers arrived at the scene, trying to assist and also to rescue those who survived, then uh, it emerged that uh, there are also entrapments uh, underneath uh, some of these vehicles and when they were counting and removing the bodies it uh, became clear that um, there are serious fatalities as more people have been killed. Now the transport minister said that uh, the, this year's fatalities had uh, been due to contributions by KwaZulu-Natal in the Western Cape where a number of horrendous crashes had taken place. Uh, what do you think is causing this high number of, of fatal crashes involving so many people in your province? Uh, it, uh, it is a, a question that uh, we are also uh, uh, asking ourselves, I mean, because Kwazulu Natal, we are relatively one of the provinces uh, with the most beautiful uh, roads, and uh, in most of these accidents, you will not falter uh, the condition of, uh, of our roads. At most, it is to driver negligence and driver behavior that contribute uh, to these kinds of uh, facilities. But more work still needs to be done in terms of changing the mindset of motorists, in terms of building the culture of tolerance and patience on the road so that uh, our people will be able to, 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 to drive at an appropriate speed. There is also the issue of um, drinking and driving. And also, we were very shocked that um, about uh, uh, 1,600 people were arrested over the past three days in our multidisciplinary road blocks, just for driving without driver's licenses. It shows you that um, people have got uh, total disregard for the rule of law and they also do not value life. But we are calling for, the, uh, for a week of mourning in the province. We are calling on everybody to drive carefully. We are calling on everybody to dedicate a moment of prayer so that we can end the carnage. Mr. Nkalani, we're going to leave it there. Thank you very much indeed. That was the uh, spokesperson for the uh, transport uh, department in the province uh, giving us some details on that horror crash on the N2 South, uh, just uh, outside Port Shepston, where we believe 10 people have lost their lives in a, a pileup with three taxis uh, involved. We'll keep you updated on that story. But the roads has been shut down. So if you're traveling in and around that area, uh, perhaps uh, start looking for alternative routes. That's the N2 South around the Port Shepston area. A three minibus taxi pileup has killed 
10 people this evening.